everybody, this is Praxis, and uh, today I'm still in this downstairs bathroom. Uh, I did not end up installing this unit here because I just feel like I need to do a little bit more thinking about it with proximity to these pipes. I want to talk to the electrician to make sure there's no uh, code issues with putting it near these pipes. Uh, but then, in addition to the code issues, I mean, there's the code issues, the safety codes, and then like there's your own personal sense of self-preservation. I, <laughs> I think even if it's totally fine to put it there, I think I'd like to put a little shield. So if there was ever a leak from the bathtub, it would shed stuff away from that unit. So anyway, I want to do a little bit more thinking about that and also about the way that it exits over here. What I've been working on today is uh, doing all these nailer boards on the walls. Uh, to accommodate uh, the ceiling being put up here. It's kind of a complex ceiling. You can see there's kind of a ceiling here, and then it cuts up at a 90 degree angle, then it's going to go across here, and then there's going to be a 45 here, and then another flat section here. This was uh, arbitrary on my part. I mean, this could have come out straight and then gone up. I wanted a box around these pipes here, uh, but uh, this is what I ended up coming up with, is straight 45 to here, and then straight across uh, that way. Uh, and I've just been having to put all these surface, uh, these uh, little boards to nail the surfaces too. I'm missing just two of them left. Uh, one of them is right here, just a nailing surface for right there. And I was actually just about to measure that out. What it needs to be is, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but roughly six and a half, six and a half inches. Uh, Oh wait, no, I only want to measure to that surface, which makes it you know, five and a quarter. So five and a quarter inches uh, for a piece right there. That's going to be fun trying to nail that in with this in uh, here. And then the only other piece I need is a piece right here uh, that will work uh, in this, this corner here. So the uh, uh, boards here are getting nailed there, and then boards need to, uh, here need something to nail on. I'm going to make the entire ceiling... Uh, removable, which makes it a lot more complicated, but, uh, well, there's two reasons for that. One, that's just sort of my uh, approach to things in general. I like to be able to get access to things without having to cut holes in walls later. If you make access panels, I think that's, uh, just makes fixes and retrofits and changes in the future a lot easier. And in addition to that, I mean, you guys have been following the series, you know what the plumber's work has been like. You know, when they first installed this underfloor pipes, they were too short. Uh, you know, once they put stuff in, it was put in in a way that wasn't the way they described it. There have been leaks in a number of places, a huge gushing leak down there. Uh, you know, they, there's been some issues with the plumbing and, and, you know, it hasn't even really gotten broken in yet. So, uh, if I see leaks coming through the ceiling, I'd really prefer to be able to just unscrew an access panel and look at where the issue is instead of, you know, having to you know, cut things or pry things off of the crowbar. So I'm going to make it so that the entire ceiling can come down, I think maybe in two panels, maybe like one panel here can come down, one panel here, or I don't know, maybe I'll do the whole thing. That's a decision I'm going to make as I go ahead. But this is what I'm working on today, and it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of little, little bit pieces. Sometimes work goes really fast when you're putting up a bunch of big pieces, and then sometimes it goes a little slow when they're a bunch of smaller pieces that have very precise angles, and you have to be a little more meticulous. And today's one of those days. That's it. Thanks for watching.